Okay, so this is test number 865. Uh, actually, this is test two. Yeah. I uh, did the path planning and uh, using the steering angle as a feedback, is the only feedback. And distance and heading angle generate the desired heading. And then the steering angle is the feedback to follow that heading. Again, exactly like the way we steer, we don't look beside us and see how far off we are, we look ahead and try to find that point. So this is a test of doing steering angle only as feedback and generating a approach vector. Seems to work pretty good. Anyway, I'm gonna take off here. Turn it on. Still a pretty shitty little motor. As you can see it just turns really slow. So what it's doing is it's trying to find that vector that is the right angle. Speed up here, go oh, slow. The distance off is in centimeters. And I made a couple time trips up and down the road here. And it seems to work simple and very effectively. So yeah, I don't know. The number down here, this difference is the heading angle minus the distance divided by about 50. And over here is the steering, which is a, a potentiometer. Up there, right at the front wheel on the front axle, connected to the tie rod. And that measures the steering angle. Hold on, get back in there. So here we are following along, and it does seem to work pretty good. So just heading down the road, because I don't have any, any pasture or anything to actually drive in. So I'll take it off course. back on course again. I'm following exactly in my old tracks that I went on. You can actually see it right here at the front wheel, right beside and right on top of my old track. And so that's working pretty good. So yeah, uh, I'll post some code and let me know what you guys think. Anyways, it's dead freaking simple. All it is is Where is it now? Yeah, depending on which side of the line you're on, it's distance actual minus the heading actual. And of course, that gives a vector. And then divide that by 50 to turn it into steering position units. And that's a number from 0 to 1023. And based on the steering angle, uh, which centers around 0, you generate a heading error. And from that heading error, for the PID, you just subtract, well, nothing. That becomes your heading error. Multiply that by your proportional value and your derivative value. And as if you notice, there's no integral value and it works just fine. So there's no integral term to worry about. This uh, dividing by 50 actually is your sensitivity, how most GPS set up. And the uh, lower this number is, of course, the faster that approach angle is, and the faster that it goes. Your PID terms, well, they won't change much, even based on speed. So we're going to have to play around with that in terms of speed. So yeah, it comes down to one single statement. So anyway, that seems to work pretty good. All right, thanks.